So today we're going to be having a first look at the AWS Activate console. Many of you will know that the AWS Activate program is predominantly a credit program that also has support and training. But now there's a release inside the AWS console that gives you a view on top of your credits. You can get access to support. You can see what's going inside your account. It gives you recommendations. And it's the central hub of all the information that is relevant to you as a startup. And that's not only whether you are the technical person, normally the CTO, it could be that you're the, the CEO and you'll be able to see all the offers and exclusive benefits or the CFO. You want to have access to the detailed billing report information so you can see how you're doing with spend and also your credit usage. So let's dive in and have a look at what it looks like. First of all, this is the console. The easiest way to find it is just a search and, and we don't even have to type anything because straight away it's the first one that comes up. So activate the startups. Over on the right hand side, this is about my startup that I'm building. So I'm in the stage where I'm scaling. I've just got my series A funding and I'm a health tech company. And this is really useful because it helps to guide some of the content, some of your experience later on. So you would fill this out yourself and you change it as you go through stages or if your business completely changes in direction, you would update it here as well. Just below that, I can see all my information about the spend so I can understand how much I've spent so far in the month and then how many credits I've got left and how my spend is using up the credits. And then I can also take a look at seeing from this service dashboard, how much support credits I've got left. So if my team needs help with support, they can make use of them and get answers that they're gonna find to their technical problems that they might have. Then there's this central feed of content that's relevant to you, to your startup. This gives me information on recommended services. So here we're talking about building a data lake as code because I said I'm a health tech company. And this is then featuring specific ways of building data templates for healthcare companies. Then I can take a look and see some of the exclusive Activate offers. And actually, I'm going to explore that now. And this is really super useful because straight away I look into this and so many of these are the sort of things that I would want to use I was start up. Like Slack is such a really obvious standout one here. Then Bubble is awesome for building no-code websites. Charge V2, Zendesk, Fiverr, ZipRecruiter, Datadog, QuickBooks, TechBridge, Freshworks, Airtable, Spot. There's loads of them. I'm not even going to go through the whole list, but these offers are designed for you, for startups, for the stage that is relevant to you. And some of these are localized too. There may be some offers that are much more local to the market that you're in. Everyone will see slightly different versions of this. So let's go have a look what's next. And next we've got the tech guidance. The tech guidance has some of the similar information that we would have seen before, but this is all just technical information. So I mean, Honeycode, sent document databases, and this is where I mean, it's not just the technical team. So we have the cost savings tab, how to control your spend, how to get more visual information inside of your spend, how to deal with cost savings or cost optimizations. And if you're CEO and you wanna find out how to grow your business, there's a whole business growth tab too. And this then gives you some of the information around, yes, there was the activate offers and we saw that in the general feed. And then we have some things around impactful business and communications, other exclusive offers and learn how to grow with different training courses. And here again, health tech specific information. But this is the console after all. So let's go have a look at what other tech things we can find out. And it's where we dive into the tech hub. And the tech hub then is me as a CTO, I can see everything that I would want to see at a single glance without having to jump into different parts of the console or check emails. It's all here for me. So let's take a look. We've got information on the health events. There's anything that I need to be aware of and here for a security notification, but that's from quite a while ago. Then Trusted Advisor. Trusted Advisor is a tool that runs inside your account and it checks your account against certain criteria. That could be cost optimization, fault tolerance, performance, security. And it gives you these automated checks. It tells you if anything is wrong or you might need to address something. Here straight away, we can see there are four checks out of 115 that have been run and they're telling me that I need to do something. So MFA on the root account, you definitely should fix your MFA on the root account. It's an absolute requirement. It's something you should have done straight away. Next, we have I am password policy, another security alert so we know what's going on. These are things I should be going in and fixing and showing me straight away. But it's hiding the other 111 checks that have already passed. There's no point in seeing that. And there's a couple of things about S3, different bucket logging and versioning. So we need to take a look into later. And the Well Architected. Well Architected is a super useful framework for you if you want to know if you have architected 
your application, your service, your software in the best way for performance, cost optimization, scalability, operational excellency. And it really helps to guide your design in this way. And here you can find out more information about how to apply it to your startup. And there are two extra areas around getting help from experts. So there is the support and support comes as part of Activate. So if you have the Activate package, you can get access to either business support or developer support, and you can find a way to quickly raise tickets from here. Additionally, there is Amazon IQ, and this is where you get access to experts on demand. And these are experts just like yourselves in anything, whether you need help migrating your database, hosting a website, designing your application, you can get access to these as an on-demand workforce where you need help. So it's also worth checking that out. So there you have it. This is a quick look at the AWS Activate console that is just launched. And one of the cool things that I always think about is when a service launches inside AWS, it's just day one. It's almost like an MVP. So from right now, what you see, this is going to change based on your feedback. So dive into it, see what works for you and start leaving feedback through the console. And then you'll start getting the things that are really useful to you. And so this is the AWS console. So you got an idea of what it is, how to get access to it and what it could be useful for you as a CTO, but also for your CEO, for your CFO or other members of your team as it makes sense for them. So if you found this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe if you've not done so already. And if you've not yet applied to Activate, you can do so. You go to aws.amazon.com slash activate. There's different packages, whether you are just starting out and you've not yet received investment or whether you're a, a company that's growing quickly and you've had VC investment and you can get up to $100,000 of AWS credits. So click there and apply now.